Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got blue and green circles and they are tangent to each other as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the line segment AB is 24 and the line segment CD is 10. And now we are going to calculate the area of the blue circle as well as the area of the green circle. Now let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's our very first step. Let the radius of this big blue circle be this one, be uppercase R, and the radius of this smaller green circle be the lowercase r. And now let's go ahead and connect these centers M and N as you can see in this figure and moreover this this part over here this is the radius of this bigger blue circle i'm going to call it uppercase r and this is the radius of this smaller screen signal which is lowercase r so this total this mn is going to be simply uppercase R plus lowercase r. So thus the distance mn turns out to be uppercase R plus lowercase r as you can see over here. And now we are going to draw the radius and the diameter from this center. I'm going to draw this uh, radius onto this line of tangency as well as I am going to draw this diameter on this line of tangency as you can see in this figure and now let's focus on this big blue circle the radius and the tangent line are perpendicular to each other according to the tangent to a circle theorem the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees that means they are perpendicular and now let's focus on this green smaller circle. The diameter and the line of tangency are perpendicular to each other. Once again, according to tangent to a circle theorem. And now let's focus on this big blue circle. Once again, the chord, this chord is being divided into to equal parts according to a chord of a circle theorem. According to this theorem, a radius or a diameter perpendicular to a chord divides the chord into two equal parts as you can see in this diagram. And we are going to apply the same theorem in our case. So that means this our big chord is divided into two equal parts parts and likewise for this green circle we according to this same theorem so this chord this one this whole chord is being divided into equal parts this one and this one and now let's focus on this whole line segment a b and we know that this is 24 units as we know and now we know that this chord AP is divided into two equal parts AE and EP and likewise this another chord PB is divided into equal parts PF and FB so that means this side this E F is going to just simply half of this AB. So if this is 24, this big one AB, then this EF is going to be simply half of that one is going to be 12. So thus our EF distance turns out to be 12 units. And now in this step, let's draw a perpendicular from this center N onto this line ms this is actually the radius onto a point q somewhere here 
And according to the very same code of a circle theorem, this code, this one over here, as you can see, PD is divided into two equal parts, this part and this part. And likewise, let's draw a perpendicular form point M from the center onto this chord CP at some point H. Then according to chord of a circle theorem, this chord CP can be divided into two equal parts as this one, as you can see, this CH and HP. And now we know that this CD that is given to us is 10 units. And moreover, these two chords CP and PD are divided into two equal parts. So therefore, this distance, the one that I'm going to identify, this is going to be just half of that uh, 10. So that is going to be 5. And here's our next step. Let's consider now this rectangle M H K Q M H K Q. And here's the definition of rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. So therefore, this side length H K is equal to this side length MQ since they are opposite and equal in length. And we know that the length HK is 5 units, so therefore MQ is going to be 5 units as well. And likewise, let's go ahead and consider this uh, rectangle EFNQ. Then by the definition of a rectangle, this EF equals to QN. That means this EF equals to QN. And since EF is 12, so therefore QN is going to be 12 as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle MQN. And since this is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, the longest leg is M and I'm going to call that one side C. This horizontal side I'm going to call A. And this vertical side is going to be B. And here's our Pythagorean formula. A square plus B square equal to C square, where in our case, A is 12, B is 5 and C is uppercase R plus lowercase R. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So in our case, this is going to become 12 square plus five square equal to R plus R square. Let's go ahead and simplify. That's going to become 144 plus 25 equal to r plus r square and if we simplify that one so we are going to get r plus r square equal to 169 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so that means our r plus r turns out to be 13 and I'm going to call this equation number one. And now let's focus on this rectangle SGNQ. So according to the definition of a rectangle, these opposite sides are equal in length. And this NG is the radius of this small green circle. So that means this SQ is going to be R as well. So therefore SQ is lowercase r. And we also know that ms equal to r. This ms is the radius of this blue circle uppercase r. 
and we know that this is QS is lowercase r and this MQ is this part is 5 over here. So then we can write r equal to 5 plus r. This 5 plus this r. Now let's go ahead and substitute r equal to 5 plus r value in this equation 1. And here's our equation number 1 r plus r equal to 13. So let's go ahead and substitute r value over here. So wherever we see uppercase r we're gonna plug it in that value. So that is going to be a 5 plus r plus r equal to 13. Let's simplify 5 plus 2 lowercase r equal to 13. Let's move this 5 on the other side. So 2r equal to 13 minus 5. 2r equals to 8. That means r lowercase r value is simply 4 units. And now let's go ahead and substitute this r equal to 4 value in this equation 1. So this equation 1 is going to become uppercase r plus 4 equal to 13. Let's move this 4 on the other side. Uppercase r equal to 13 minus 4. So that means uppercase r turns out to be 9. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of these both circles. And let's go ahead and find the area of this blue circle first. And here's the area of a circle formula A equal to pi r square. In our case r is 9. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our area is going to be pi times 9 square. So area turns out to be 81 pi. And if we replace this pi by 3.14, so the area is going to be simply 254.34. Now let's focus on this green circle and we are going to find the area and this is the area of a circle formula a equal to pi r square where this lowercase r is 4. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a equal to pi times 4 square so that means a equal to 16 pi and if we replace pi by 3.14 so this area is going to be equal to 50.24 so thus here are our final answer area for the blue circle is 254.34 square units and for green circle area is 50.24 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.